The 12 missions from SpaceX and ULA you can't miss with breaking records. The Acquisition Command of the Space Force has recently delivered some exciting news. The installation of the new satellites will take you on an exciting voyage far into space. Prepare to be amazed as 12 brand new satellite payloads, not one, not two, but a whopping 12, are ready to launch on an amazing mission into the cosmic playground of orbit. And guess what? SpaceX and United Launch Alliance, two space industry masters, will launch a brilliant six payloads for each in a head-to-head -head race. The situation is going to become even more fascinating, as ULA still has to give its launch rocket a final test in July. There are two brand new, hypnotic spy satellites that will launch in the future to protect the security of the country among these celestial satellites that are soon to be launched. And what makes them even more intriguing is that they are affiliated with the National Reconnaissance Office, NRO, a mysterious intelligence service renowned for its undercover operations. All the missions assigned to the two biggest companies are being done under the National Space Security Launch, NSSL, Phase 2 program. These 12 incredible satellite payloads, which are there to shatter every single space record, will blow your mind with their intergalactic enchantment, so be ready to get swept away. Let's look at the six missions that SpaceX has been given. On June 8th, the United States Space Force signed the agreement of a total of 12 missions splitting between the world-famous SpaceX company owned by Elon Musk and the another company, United Launch Alliance, which is also famous in the market for its engineering techniques and high technology. The SpaceX has been assigned with the six on-the-go missions on its outperforming Falcon 9 rocket. Five low-Earth orbit launches from the Space Development Agency as well as the secret USSF-31 mission have been given to SpaceX. The SDA is planning to construct a sizable constellation of satellites that will be deployed in waves and be used for communications and missile tracking. On the very other side of the competition, the ULA has also been assigned with six on-the-go missions on its underdevelopment Vulcan rocket whose construction was started back in 2014. The Vulcan rocket is also supposed to have its launch test in July 2023. ULA has been tasked with carrying out two SDA launches, two NROL missions, NROL-64 and NROL-83, the 8th Global Positioning System GPS-3 mission, and the classified USSF-114 mission of the U.S. Space Force. Preparing for an extraordinary celestial event, the National Security Space Launch Phase 2, program takes the center stage. With a remarkable $1 billion allocation from Congress in FY23 and a whopping $2.1 billion request for FY24, the United States Space Force is gearing up for these groundbreaking missions that are split between the two companies. These 12 satellites' planned launches, scheduled for 2025, demonstrate NSSL's strategic foresight. By carefully manifesting these launches two years in advance, the program ensures careful preparation and a bold leap towards the future of space exploration. This is going to be insane. This all because these 12 satellites are not just going there in the outer space to orbit the Earth or for weather forecasting. There is something special or you can say suspicious. The satellites together are supposed to form an outstanding constellation which may or may not be visible to the natives of the Earth. Alongside, among the 12 satellites, there exists two of the most advanced spy cameras. Yes, you heard it correct. Two satellites which are supposed to maybe from NRO will be going out there in outer space and will act as a satellite spy. A perfect recording from these satellites may be visible to the military headquarters as they are personalized for their help. Not only these two satellites will help in the nation's security, but also the rest 10 will also have some outperforming features that will help the military in every aspect. The seven SDA rockets will be more fascinating to know about as they will be geared up with the missile tracking systems. The seven SDA rockets will include the Tranche 1 transport layer T1TL, which will have 126 interconnected spacecraft and will bring low latency military data and global connectivity. From resilient communication to seamless worldwide coverage, it's a huge revolution that transcends borders and empowers military platforms like never before. The other in the queue is Tranche 1 Tracking Layer T1TRK, which includes 14 satellites in a constellation ready to unleash an unimaginable mastery. 
they are prepared to eliminate even the most elusive missile threats, including the dangerous hypersonic systems, as they are equipped with cutting-edge detection, tracking, and targeting capabilities. The other five includes the base and advanced models of the recently discussed rockets. Apart from these, the mission also includes the launch of a global positioning system or the GPS-3 satellite. The U.S. military's global positioning system satellites, which transmit signals for positioning, navigation, and time, have been updated with this new GPS-3. The GPS-3 satellites, in comparison to prior generations, offer military users additional defense against jamming assaults and a more powerful L-1C signal for civilian users that is compatible with Europe's Galileo navigation satellites. The GPS-3 offers the military offices high security and an advanced technology helping in the warfares as well. The other two special missions dubbed USSF-31 and USSF-114 under the United States Space Force are also there to be launched. The Space Force has not announced any particular details regarding these two suspicious spacecraft. Apart from all this, the Space Force has given a detail about the launch sites as well. Although having five missions from the Space Development Agency to SpaceX and two missions to ULA, the launch site for all the seven SDA's missions is chosen to be Vandenberg, California. The classified or in our terms suspicious mission USSF-31 is supposed to take its launch from the eastern range over the Falcon rocket of SpaceX. And its partner USSF-114, whose details are also not out, is supposed to have its flight from the western range on the Vulcan rocket of ULA. The most advanced tracker GPS-3, which is going to be in space just a few years after, over the ULA's Vulcan rocket, will take its flight away from the Earth from Cape Canaveral, USA. It doesn't end here, because the two spy cats are left behind. NROL-64 will fly from the eastern range of Cape Canaveral, Florida, and the NROL-83 will have its flight from the western range of Vandenberg, California, to the space for accomplishing their missions. Major General Stephen Purdy and Air Force Commander Colonel Chad Maloney also have their say over the NSSL Phase II program being carried out by SpaceX's Falcon 9 and ULA's Vulcan rocket. The Space Force's formidable record of 97 consecutive successful NSSL launches to date is one of the most effective tools we can employ to face the pacing challenge. With this unwavering commitment to maintaining the high ground in the space domain, we send a powerful message to our strategic competitors that we are determined to protect our nation and allies, said Major General Stephen Purdy, SSC's Program Executive Officer for Assured Access to Space. Our ongoing commitment to successfully launch our secure communications, GPS, and space awareness satellites and place them into their orbits continues to provide our warfighters and nation's decision makers with the assets and vital information they need every day to stay ahead of and deter adversarial forces. Colonel Chad Maloney, SSC's Chief of the Launch Procurement and Integration Division also stated, We partner closely with our launch service providers and mission customers to deliver critical payloads to orbit precisely, on time, and without failure. ULA and SpaceX continue to provide outstanding launch services with their reliable and innovative launch systems, and we are confident in their ability to maintain the unprecedented 100% program success for the NSSL missions assigned for launch in FY25. It's pretty sure that the missions are going to be successful on the very first flight or else they will have to face a vast loss of money. But, after listening to the two majors, the companies are also confident enough to deliver their best. To protect the country's strategic advantage in and from space, the Space Systems Command, SSC, the branch of the U.S. Space Force is in charge of acquiring and delivering resilient warfighting capabilities. The SSC oversees a $15 billion space acquisition budget for the Department of Defense and collaborates with joint forces, business, government agencies, academic and allied organizations to accelerate innovation and outpace emerging threats. The mission is going to be super futuristic. Now, go and comment your opinions. What do you think about this space mission which is set to break world records? And what information are we going to get regarding USSF's special spacecrafts? Have you thought on how it will be living inside SpaceX Starship for first trip? Take a look at the video on the screen.